Hi everyone, it's Corey. Today I am doing an unboxing, or I should say unpackaging, of my two new, brand new rune sets. I have never even held runes, like ever before, but recently I felt like purchasing my first set and there was another really beautiful set I saw on this lady's Etsy shop and so I had to purchase a second set. Um, so I'm really really excited and I'm really surprised too because I got both of them in the same day and I purchased them separately like within um, I think like a week of each other so I'm really really surprised and I'm pretty sure they came from England um, I'm still not like a hundred percent sure like exactly where but uh, it's really neat to see like the place that it came from and the writing. It came from Minx Belaris. So you tell me where that's from. Um, I'm just going to cover like my address, but um, you could see like the handwriting and everything. It's really neat. Usually you just see like full on English, but in this case, no. So I'm going to open two of my rune sets and I've got the scissors um, handy here. So let's just see which set this one is. One is white quartz and the other is white marble. And I always want to say white jade for some reason. But okay. So they put them in like a really, really nice bag. Like, it reminds me of a really old fashioned bag and I'm, I really love it at first sight. Love it at first sight. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make sure you could see this. I might have to move my camera down, but we'll see might be able to make this work okay I'm so excited okay I'm just gonna guess which ones they are hmm I don't know I'm seeing the white marble at the moment but I might be completely wrong oh my gosh they're white marble <laughs> Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand to the back so you can see this better. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get the white marble runes. These were the second set that I just had to get. Um, so I'm just gonna like pour some in my hand. Wow, these are really cool. I'm really excited to start working with these. They're really, really smooth. I'll put the link to the Etsy shop down below just um, so you could check it out if you're interested. And like, it's weird, but my favorite rune, like just by looking at all of the runes on Pinterest, um, my favorite one is the blank one because it means the unknowable and I believe it also means destiny. So like I just think it's kind of funny because the rest of them have a symbol on it and my favorite one um, is the blank one. So I'm going to do a reading at the end of this because um, I'm curious which ones are going to come out. And I'm gonna use my phone to look it up. I haven't really done like a whole lot of research. I haven't memorized every single rune yet. But I know that I can probably intuitively just like pull messages from the symbols alone. There is one with just like a complete straight line and I was getting messages that it can mean 
just like going forward um like straight ahead and like you could pull a simple message like that from a rune and not even like have to know what it means okay so these are the white quartz oh ooh, they they added like a surprise gift in this wow i was really admiring like the other sets they have a variety of rune sets and there was this green one that looked really really cool and she like gifted me one this is really cool i'm really excited about this so i'll just put this close up oh, wow that's really special this is special to me like already handmade for you I think like the green crystal is called a seraphonite or something like that. But let's see. Ooh. I like the feel of these quartz a little bit more than the white marble, but the white marble ones are like really cool already. Okay, I think this one is actually a message for us because it's the first one I chose yeah that's pretty neat so i'm gonna look up what this particular rune means on my phone okay let me go to pinterest real quick these are the elder foo fork runes i didn't know that there were four different types like the younger runes younger foo fork and then like three others or a couple of others okay so oh and like for I'm surprised I didn't even realize this but um runes are basically an alphabet and what I want to do with them is I want to like pull full-on words um, by casting the runes, I think that would actually happen at times, like, just the word joy, J-O-Y, would probably come up, like, really simple ones, um, and I could probably pull a lot from these readings because it's, like, a full-on alphabet. Okay, I believe this one is U. It's the letter U. And the name associated with it is Yeruz. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, it represents strength, power, courage, and the ox. That's interesting because I've been watching this anime show called The Twin Stars. And like the one word that they constantly say is strong, like I want to get stronger. They keep saying it over and over and over again. And then there was another anime show I started last night um, called um, Legends of the Legendary Heroes. And that subject was brought up again. So it's really interesting that this one um, came out because it represents strength power and courage so maybe that's a theme for many of us right now like just the theme of becoming stronger within ourselves stronger within the mind and I know another example of this in my life that is like more significant than just like anime shows that I've been watching is I've been really paying attention to my thoughts recently and when anxiety comes up I've been really like consciously breathing like telling myself okay just like relax just breathe take a deep breath and I've been trying to like train myself mentally to do that more like even when I'm driving because sometimes I get like anxiety while driving and sometimes like panicked when there's something um, that 
isn't usually there like there's like cops at the side of the road because it was an accident and like traffic is different now because of that and like I'm thinking in my head oh no like where do I go am I gonna be able to go that route or do I have to change the route um, and so now more so than usual I'm just reminding myself okay just take a deep breath, it's gonna be okay. Nothing to worry about, wash your worries away. It's all good. And so I think um, that may be a message for you right now as well. Like something as simple as just reminding yourself to breathe, and that actually gives you strength and courage to move forward like whatever it may be. And, um, whatever situation in your life, whether it's anxiety while driving or stress at work or having a conversation with your significant other or a friend that may be a bit difficult for you, but it's your truth. Like you feel like you need to say this, but it may be uncomfortable, but you work up the courage to say it anyways and you decide to consciously breathe to feel more like secure within yourself and you try to wash your worries away you try to um like forget about um the bad morning you had and to like try your best to make the day the best it could possibly be and to find happiness through the anxiety and anything that tries to belittle your strength or undermine you you just find the courage whatever it is whatever that strategy you come up with in the midst of it is as long as it brings you strength and courage if it does that continue doing it and maybe tweak it a bit um find like research online like how do i work through my anxiety or just and like you intuitively know what that solution is so that is what is coming through here i'll show you the rune again and you know this makes a lot of sense, like just looking at this rune here of a symbol, it's actually reminding me of that message like um, it's an uphill battle, but you are still able to do it because you see like the line, it's like it curves up, but then it's all downhill from there, <laughs> you know? Um, how can you make the uphill battle seem more like the the hill after it you know like um after you walk up the hill it's downhill from there how do you do that in the midst of the uphill so that's what i'm getting here okay i'm gonna uh i was just gonna say i'm gonna pull a card <laughs> I'm going to choose a rune from um, my white marble rune set and let's just see what comes out here. I'm just keeping it open. Um, ooh, one just seriously fell out. Okay. It right into my lap. It fell into my lap. <laughs> okay. This one looks pretty cool reminds me of like two snakes could be a message about um kundalini energy kundalini awakening it's like let me go back to the chart here what rune is this What? For some reason, I can't find it on this. Okay, I found it. So, the letters for this one are N and G. Interesting. 
Inguz. Inguz, that's the name. It represents fertility. Ooh, true love, music, and harmony. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm already loving this message. So, like, I just feel a really beautiful, like, I get a really beautiful from those messages, just reading them aloud. So, music, like who doesn't love music? I've been using music more often recently and this could also be a message for you, a little piece of advice to make your life a little more harmonious and more like loving at the moment. So recently I've been getting into cooking more and getting out the cookbook and just learning a little more about um, good food, I guess, creating good food, good meals. And um, while I cook, I really enjoy just listening to some music and playing some uh, lofi music. Uh, you can look it up um, if you don't know what that is. It's just really, really chill and calming tunes. And I also have been listening to like jazz hop recently and um, even like super, super upbeat music, classical, whatever it is. Um, I'll listen to basically anything. But anyways, um, I've noticed that with music, you could basically do like anything with joy. Um, even cleaning. Um, you could, you know, like dread having to do chores one day and you have to clean the entire house. But once you play some music, um, all of a sudden the vibe is just raised, you know, um, your spirits are um, high all of a sudden because you're listening to the music you love and it's all of a sudden not a chore, it's not really a chore anymore because you're enjoying it. So there is this message about, or like the question, how can you make this enjoyable, more enjoyable? And the advice there is music. That's one thing you could do. And this is also pairing pretty nicely with the first message I shared with you about how can you make the up uphill, sorry, um, the uphill climb or pursuit, whatever it is, feel more like the downhill journey. Um, how can you make it easier? How can you make it more fun and more enjoyable? So, um, the overall message is making your life lighter. And it's within your power, it's within your strength, it's within your mind. You could do this. There are many ways um, to a lighter path, a lighter way of being and seeing life. True love is another message with this rune and you could be wondering about this more recently, wondering about your soulmate, wondering about relationships and more importantly, like the connections you make in your life. Maybe you've been searching for your tribe, so to speak. Um, you are searching for more friends, more people you can reach out to and talk to so you could enjoy your life more. Um, more fun activities. Um, even thinking about like your bucket list. I've been doing this recently. Um, I've been wanting to go to a concert, um, a venue more so, not necessarily a concert, but um, there's this venue really close to my house and I've never ever um, attended a concert at that venue ever. And it's really, really popular. Um, it's a place that many people um, visit to see concerts because 
um, it's just like the best. It's the experience <laughs> um, that's great. And so recently I just thought to ask a friend at work if like she would want to go to a concert there with me and um, we are uh, scheduling and planning that out right now. And so there's this message of like finding those people, finding those places and events that you want to see and actually like putting in the effort to make it happen for you and to experience it with the people that you want to experience it with and just um, doing those things that make you feel lighter and brighter and put that just like bright smile on your face. Um, that's the message that I'm getting here and like you want to feel more love in your life. Um, maybe you're thinking about um, this like in terms of you yourself, like how can I take care, um, better care of myself? Um, thinking about self-care. Um, recently, I've been thinking about waking up really early in the morning and just taking a walk and making some tea and listening to some music on those walks. So I could exercise, listen to music and drink a cup of tea like all in one and <laughs> like the perfect combination the perfect morning um and that is an example of self-care for me but maybe there's something different than that that you've been considering recently and it will make like it'll be the light of your day so spirit is basically saying they're telling you that whatever that is whatever you just thought about when i said that um, you should move forward um, with that. You should just go for it, try it out. Like, um, my question is, what is the best that could happen with that? Um, and I just think it will be it would be really, really good and positive for you. So that is my advice. That's my message for you today. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.